TJ's Pizza Party and the Affordable Pizza Act by Stephen M. Pilatu. Not long ago, there was a country known the world over for its delicious pizza. The country was called Napoli. People came from distant lands to taste this amazing delicacy. But what made this pizza taste better than other pizzas? No one knew for sure. Some said it was the pizza dough, made fresh daily with wheat that was grown where the air was fresh and the rain was soft. Others said it was the cheese, made from polka dot cows. They lived on ranches with no fences, just wide open spaces where they could roam and chew their cud, whatever that is. Still others said it was the dark red tomatoes that grew so large it would take two grown men to lift one. What made them so juicy? Was it because they were grown in the southern regions of the country, where the sun was hot and it rained only at night? Or was it because they hired the best musicians to play soothing music in the tomato fields? In the land of Napoli, it was tradition to celebrate your birthday with a pizza party, and no one knew that better than TJ. Tomorrow he would be turning eight. After saying his prayers, he crawled into bed and began to think about his birthday party and having some delicious pizza. His best friends from school, Tommy and Jake, would be coming over. Also his cousins, David, Monica, and Stephanie. They always have so much fun together. TJ remembered last year at Monica's party, while they were sipping a soda, Stephanie accidentally made a funny noise. They started laughing so hard, soda pop fizzled out of David's nose. When TJ's mom came in to kiss him goodnight, he asked her if he could have his favorite kind of pizza for his birthday pepperoni with extra cheese. She said, sure, TJ, I think we can do that. And you can come down to Luigi's with me tomorrow and place the order. Luigi makes the best pizza in town, and some say the best pizza in all of Napoli. Sleep good, TJ. Good night, Mom. I love you, TJ replied. Then he snuggled under his covers and fell asleep. The next morning, TJ and his mom drove down to Luigi's to order his birthday pizza. When they arrived, Luigi said, TJ, I heard a it's a your birthday. I'm gonna make a special pizza just a for you. TJ wondered why Luigi talked kind of funny. He always put the letter A at the end of his words. Then his eyes lit up. A special pizza for me? TJ started drooling and wiped his mouth with his sleeve. Inside, TJ noticed that everyone in the pizzeria had stopped talking. They were all looking at the enormous television screen at one end of the room. Breaking news flash, here's the King of Napoli with an important announcement. Now Luigi and his mom had also stopped talking and were looking at the TV. King Ima Blamania was making a special announcement. We believe in freedom and equality. It has come to our attention that there are many people in our great country who don't have access to good, affordable pizza. So I made a new law that will ensure that everyone will be able to enjoy our delicious pizza. I call it the Affordable Pizza Act. What does that mean, Mom? I don't know, TJ. King Blamania continued. In order to be fair to everyone, each family will be required to buy one pizza a week. Don't worry, you can still buy your pizza at your local pizzeria. And if you live too far away, you'll be able to order it on your computer and have it delivered to your door. I saw Luigi scratching his head. He had so many questions, he didn't know what to say next. Finally, Luigi said, I'm not a very smart a guy, but if everyone has it to buy one pizza a week, uh, after a while, won't we run out of cheese and tomatoes and pizza dough? King Blamania continued, and we're pleased to announce that our government has produced at considerable expense the best pizza on earth. We call it the Social Supreme. It's big, it's huge, and it's meant to be shared. What's on it? One of the reporters asked. The lady standing next to the king said, you have to buy it first to find out what's on it. TJ asked his mom, how do you know if you want to buy it if you don't know what's on it? I don't know, TJ. I don't know. Then Luigi turned towards TJ and said, Come back at a four o'clock and your special birthday pizza will be ready. 
Later that day, TJ's mom said, It's four o'clock. Time to go pick up your pizza. Yay, TJ exclaimed. From a distance, Royal Government helicopters could be seen hovering above Luigi's Pizza Parlor. They were delivering supplies to make the new Social Supreme Pizza. Lots and lots of supplies. When TJ and his mom got closer, they could see that the sign didn't say Luigi's anymore. It said, GASP, Government Affordable Social Pizza. It looked like Luigi's old place, but where was Luigi? When they arrived, the line was out the door, around the corner, down the block, and around another corner. Wow, why is the line so long, Mom? TJ asked. Well, now that everyone's required to buy one pizza a week, a lot more people are coming to buy pizza, his mom replied. When they peered through the windows of the pizza parlor, they saw an assembly line of government workers frantically making pizza with cheese flying everywhere. Hey, there's the Andersons. It looks like they got a social supreme. Let's go see what it looks like. When the Andersons opened the box, the pizza didn't look so good. What are those funny green things, TJ asked. I don't know, TJ. I don't know. Mr. Anderson didn't look too happy. His pizza cost twice as much as Luigi's and it didn't taste as good. In fact, it didn't taste good at all. And we had to wait three hours in line just to get one, Mr. Anderson said. Next time, I'll just order one from my computer. That's a great idea, TJ's mom said, except their website isn't working right. It crashed our computer. The Jeffersons tried it. They got charged $4,000 for their pizza, and it got delivered to the Johnsons. It looks like the government isn't as good at making pizza as Luigi is. Let's go, TJ, his mom said. But mom, I thought we were going to get my birthday pizza here. I've got a better idea. Let's go home and make our own. It may not be as good as Luigi's, but I think we can do a whole lot better than the government. The government is good at one thing, our common defense. Our brave military protects us day and night. TJ replied, maybe the government should leave making pizza to the people that do it best, like Luigi. By the time TJ's mom pulled up in the driveway at home, it was dark out, and the lights in the house hadn't been turned on yet. When they opened the door... Surprise! Happy birthday, TJ! TJ was surprised. With all the commotion at the pizza palace, TJ almost forgot about his birthday party. TJ looked around the room and saw his best friends, Tommy and Jake. Also his cousins, David, Monica, and Stephanie were there. And behind them stood Luigi. I'm a going to show you how to make a my world-famous pizza. TJ asked, Is that against the law, Mom? His mom replied, it's a free country, isn't it? Then she wondered if that was still true. Luigi's pizza was going to taste better than ever. The End